Good morning to you. I am Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics for Wednesday, the 7th of September, 2022. Still very busy in the Atlantic Basin. Now we have Danielle, a hurricane. Earl, a hurricane as well. Earl expected to become a major hurricane, at least Category 3 intensity, probably as it passes by Bermuda to the south and east, yet it will bring some pretty inclement weather to Bermuda. We'll talk about this later today in the hurricane outlook and discussion. Out here, newly designated 95L, uh, invest area 95L, and then our area off the coast of Africa there. This is what it all looks like on the expanded five-day outlook graphic. And then in the eastern Pacific, there is Hurricane K, going to remain just off the Baja, maybe clipping portions of the central Baja as it heads up towards the northwest, going to bring some rainfall, and much-needed rainfall at that for parts of Southern California. Uh, probably some storm surge up along the northern Gulf of California and eventually some high waves and swells and that kind of thing for the beaches of Southern California. So an impactful event out there, even with K remaining just offshore. Here's what the track map looks like. Kind of busy out there. Let's zoom in on each area individually. Here is K in the eastern Pacific, not expected to make a direct landfall where the center passes over land. But it could come pretty close, and so uh, folks along the Baja certainly need to pay attention to this. And then it should turn and weaken off the coast of Los Angeles and San Diego by a pretty good distance now. Uh, but, you know, if it had been a little bit more to the north, and that ridge to the north that's making it so hot was a little less pronounced, this could have made it all the way up towards California as a named tropical storm. That would have been interesting, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen this time around. In the Atlantic, here is Earl, and there's Bermuda right there. So this will pass uh, roughly 100 miles, maybe less, maybe more. Over the next couple of days, it should pass as a Category 3. And uh, then it's really going to get intense out there over the subtropical Atlantic. And thus far, it will be the season's strongest hurricane. And it is going to send out some swells towards the east coast of the U.S. That was mentioned here in the National Weather Service, Moorhead City, out of uh, Newport, Moorhead City area. That's going to impact the eastern North Carolina Outer Banks area and then areas along the east coast from there. We're going to need to watch this closely, especially this weekend. The weather's going to be fairly nice. People are going to still go to the beaches, and we need to pay attention to this because rip currents can take lives. So we're going to focus on that and make sure people are aware. All right, satellite view this morning. There's K in the eastern Pacific, fairly well-defined I. Very large overall circulation pattern, a lot of moisture. That will work its way up into the desert southwest of the U.S. Again, southwest Arizona, southern California. Yes, you're going to get some rainfall out of it. There's Earl in the uh, Atlantic there, getting better organized, well on its way to closing off an eye wall, it does look like. If we slide the satellite animation over just a little bit, Earl is almost right in the center there. And then there's Danielle, way up in the far north Atlantic, still holding on at 45 degrees north latitude as a hurricane. That is remarkable, and it just goes to show just how warm that water is way up in the far northern Atlantic. Very remarkable indeed. There is Invest Area 95L. This will probably go on to become Tropical Storm Fiona briefly before encountering hostile conditions, and then we're going to watch this feature as it kind of quietly moves across the deep tropics We'll have to see what it does over the next several days. All right. All right. That is it from me for this morning. We will go over much more details on everything, including a look at the computer models. Once we get the 12Z data in, we'll do all of that later this afternoon in my hurricane outlook and discussion. As always, thanks for tuning in to What's Up in the Tropics. I am Mark Suddeth. I'll be back with you later this afternoon.